<laughs> Welcome, everyone. Um, I'm Sarah Matthews, Head of Adult Services here at the library. We thank you all for coming. I, with this weather, I'm proud of all of you and the parking. So thank you for putting up with all of this weather stuff. Um, that we're going to thank Peter, too. He just came from Billings, he told me. So he had kind of a long drive today and not too good of roads. Um, so I think this is, we'll have to chat. I think this is Peter's third or fourth trip to the Bismarck Library. So if you've heard him before, um, we're glad you're back. If you haven't heard him before, you're in for a great treat. Um, and I'd just like to thank the Friends of the Library for sponsoring this concert and for lots of the other things that they do. And if you could give, help me give Peter a warm welcome. Um, he's going to be, his concert tonight is going to be Music of the Four Centuries. So welcome. Peter. <laughs> Thank you very much and thanks for coming out tonight. Um, I just played a piece by the Spanish composer Santiago de Murcia. He, uh, he, he drew his influences uh, both from Spain and France and also from West Africa. I'd like to continue with um, a sonata by Domenico Scarlatti. Scarlatti was born in Italy but lived in Spain for several years and his harpsichord pieces uh, picked up a Spanish flavor. So this harpsichord, harpsichord piece was arranged for a classical guitar, once again, Sonata in A minor um, by Domenico Scarlatti.
The, uh, my next work is also by Johann Sebastian Bach. This is his Lute Suite, number one in E minor. Bach wrote uh, four lute suites. Um, numbers one and two are written directly for the lute. Number three is actually a cello suite, and uh, four was written for the lute, but also became a violin partita, solo violin partita. Uh, this is the most serious piece that I'll play tonight, and the longest. It's, it's right around 13 or 14 minutes. This lute suite consists of six Baroque dance movements, all very serious and very deep uh, little, little dances. Uh, the first is a prelude in presto, like a prelude in fugue, followed by um, an allemande, and then a courant, a very delicate sarabande, a beret, and then it ends with a G. So uh, lute suite number one by Johann Sebastian Bach. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
My next piece uh, was written by an Italian guitarist and composer, Mauro Giuliani. Um, he, he played the guitar very well and wrote, wrote some, uh, some beautiful music, including a guitar concerto. Uh, this piece is a theme and variation type piece. The, uh, the theme is uh, by Handel, a melody called The Harmonious Blacksmith. You'll probably recognize it. And then it has, uh, I think, about four or five variations based on the theme. So it's uh, very just on a theme of handle. After this piece, there'll be a, a very, very short break, maybe just five or 10 minutes, and then we'll continue with the second half. There are some CDs available um, at the end if you might be interested. But once again, uh, variations on a theme of handle by Mauro Giuliani.
the length of the program, and I'm not going to play the Greek pieces, but I want to continue with um, the pieces by Alexander Timesman. Just a few words about Timesman. He was born in Poland, but moved to Paris where he lived the rest of his life and kind of became known as a, as a French composer. He, um, he wrote everything 
Uh, everything he wrote was dedicated to the great Spanish composer Andre Segovia. And uh, these two pieces were taken from his Cavatina suite. The first is Barcarolle, which has kind of a rocky motion to it, like a kind of a ship Barcarolle. And the second piece is Danza Pan Posa, two very contrasting pieces. So uh, two pieces from the Cavatina suite by Alexander Thompson.